Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to Apron Strings. I don't have on an apron today because I'm just going to talk to you about some things I have found at the store that I thought you might be interested in. And um, on the see more below, I'm going to list some links to videos I've made of some of the things that we always have for Thanksgiving dinner. I have one for my dressing, potato salad, the pink stuff that I make. Uh, my pecan pie that we always have, uh, green beans, fresh or canned, cooked with bacon, and they're delicious. Several things that you can go and watch, um, a side dish or your major things that you would be using for Thanksgiving if you're interested in that. I'm going to show you some things that I found yesterday when I ran on a a grocery run with my friend. She said, who gets excited and feels like they've had a road trip when they go get groceries? Well, it's me and Cindy. But April had gone to the 99 cent store out at Atascacita, out of Humble. Um, not everything is 99 cents, but they had some things that I wanted to show y'all and tell you about in case you have one of those stores in your area. I have, I love grits. And they had the Quaker Instant Hot and Spicy Jalapeno Cheddar Grits. I've never seen these before. 99 cents for the box. Well, Troy and I both had a package this morning with a scrambled egg, and they're delicious. So that's just a heads up of something that's good that they have. These corn nuts, and when I was a kid in school, they'd have corn nuts in the candy machine, and that's what I'd get because I like salty. But... Um, they have two different, I bought two different ones, the chili picante and then the jalapeno cheddar. April came the other night when she came to can her carrots, and uh, Jordan brought some of these for a snack, and we enjoyed them, so uh, 99 cents, that's a good deal. They also had the not Berry Form, the little shortbread with the jelly in the middle, and it's a good size amount in there for 99 cents. That's really good if you're going to have just coffee or tea with a friend to have something, pretty little cookies to put on your plate if you don't have time to cook. That's a very good deal. They had raspberry and strawberry. Another thing they had that I have not tried, but oh my goodness, it is pure lemon extract. The brand is Bakersfield, but it's, it's uh, I think it's made in Mexico, and I love Mexico vanilla. So I got me some of the lemon, and it's a two ounce bottle versus a three ounce at the store. So I got me two of those, because I have a cake I'm gonna make, and I'm gonna video it. Then I got some that's orange extract. So 99 cents is a lot cheaper than you're gonna get extra at the grocery store. They also had I have a Christmas tree that is my memory tree. I'm going to do a video on it and show y'all what I have on it and tell you what each thing is. I've had it in there for years, but my lights burned out on it. And it's a small tree, and I leave it up year-round. Uh, they have the little 50-strand count lights for 99 cents. So if you need some Christmas lights for a small tree, you might be interested in that. Now, I ran to Aldi. And I went for, for two things. I wanted their garlic knots, and they were out of them. April has had some. And they're over there where the bread is, and they're in like a foil-type package. And she said, you just shake them up, and they got butter stuff in them. Then she added some grated Parmesan to hers and baked them. She said, Mother, they're as good as any garlic bread you've had anywhere. And there's eight of them in the package for a little over $2.00. But I didn't get any for my house because they were out. And the man at the register said they get them in every day. So if you're needing garlic bread uh, to go with spaghetti or something, they're good. Another thing that I put there for was their, they call it Caramel Coconut Fudge Cookies. And it's the Bittens brand, which is their brand. But let me tell y'all something. These cookies are just like the Girl Scout Samoas chocolate on the back, drizzled on the front, and that's what they taste like, and they're $2.35 a package. So that's something else that's good, and that's at Aldi. Now, we ran by TJ Maxx. Home goods, you know, that's a necessity. And I got a few things, but one thing I'm real tickled about is I wanted the other 
that I didn't have Magnolia Table Cookbook. And they're like $25, $29. It was $14. So if you're needing a, a Christmas gift for somebody that likes to cook, their cookbooks are a good price. And they had several different ones, but I already have one of hers, and I really wanted the other one. I do have a cookbook collection I need to show y'all. I've been collecting cookbooks since I was a kid. I've always loved to cook, and I have a bunch of cookbooks. I've gotten a lot of them at Goodwill in their book section. And um, when I would go to Anna Marie Island with April and Richard, the Goodwill at, is it Bracington's? Bradington. Bra they have a Goodwill bookstore, and they have a whole room that's cookbooks and chairs you can sit down and look at them well. My baby car was loaded with cookbooks when I came home two years ago from out there. Um, if I get one good recipe from a cookbook, it's worth it to me. And especially with my channel, I'm always looking for a new, uh, a new recipe, so I like this cookbook. Now, I had seen online that Kroger had some um, pri their private selection. Uh, scone mixes and I love scones. I love a tea party. I love to go to tea rooms and this one is Michigan Cherry Almond and um, I bought it yesterday. Two boxes. They're $6.99. It makes eight scones and I baked some this morning in my scone pan. Now I followed the directions on the box where you mix it up. only takes three-fourths of a cup of heavy cream that's the only added ingredient. And then you pat them out uh, and, it, and you cut it in eight pieces, but I happen to have a scone pan. So I baked mine, I cut them in the wedges, put them in each little slot, baked them, and it even has the tubinera, tubinera, how do you pronounce that, sugar. You just brush it with cream, put the sugar on the top, and y'all, these are very good and worth the money. They also had a lemon blueberry, and I'll be trying it, but if this is any any comparison to that one, this is delicious. And I do make homemade scones, but if I have somebody coming over and I just want to, you know, pretty it up a little bit for, you know, a cup of tea and a scone, I'll be using this. But I had one, Troy had two. They're good. Especially if you put some Kerrygold butter on them. So I think that that is covered. My little stuffs that I bought that was good. I did pick up my Azure order yesterday and I bought me some gallon jars. You have to buy the jars in one box and then you have to buy your lid separate. I think four gallon jars was like $17, but they shorted me a lid, so I've got to contact them about that. And another thing, issue that I have, and I'm going to contact them Monday and see what they say about it. I had bought a 25 pound bag of bread flour that was supposed to be good until sometime in 2022. I had not opened it. I put it in the deep freeze uh, for three days and I've had it for a couple of months. Put it in the deep freeze because I was going to divvy it up and vacuum seal it. It's full of weevils. So I'm going to see if they'll make that good and I will let y'all know if they make it good or not. If they don't, I won't be ordering any more flour or stuff from them because it's supposed to be good until the sell-by date, and it, this wasn't. Now, I've been a great uh, fan of Azure, and I've been pleased with things, but I am going to contact them about the flour, and I'll let y'all know if they're going to make it good or not because you order 25 pounds of flour, you expect it to be there and to last, and this is full of weevils. It's not acceptable. And I will call them Monday, and in the next video or so, I will let you know if they give me credit or what they say about it. And I will let them know that I'm being honest with you on my channel about whether they make it good or not. I've always been pleased with the things I got from them. This time, I did get another 25-pound bag of beets because it's such a wonderful price. I think it was $35.00. And it's just the beet. There's no greens. If you buy beets at the store, you're paying for the beets and the greens per pound. And I wanted to can me some more beets. Man, I need a bunch of what I had canned. So that is something else that I got with this haul that I think um, will be good. And I also got a bag of lemon powder um, that I will use for seasoning. But the thing I'm 
I'm worried about is my flour because it was my bread flour. And I do grind my own grain, but occasionally a recipe will call for bread flour and I like to have it on hand. Now y'all check the links out below and uh, see if there's a video that maybe you would want to make that for your Thanksgiving meal. And um, you can just watch that video and I usually always have a card somewhere toward the end of the video with uh, the recipe on it. But the method is what you need to watch because sometimes I'll add something that's not on that card. I'm just being honest with you. I'll put that there as a reference, but watch the video to see what, what happens and what goes on. So I don't have time to make videos before Thanksgiving of everything that you might would want to use. So if you'll just go down that list, if there's something you think you might want to cook, you can just watch that video and you'll have a dish for your Thanksgiving dinner and time to go get your stuff first of the week to make it on Thursday. So that being said, I guess I'll sign off of here. This is kind of short and sweet today, but uh, I wanted to tell y'all about these good finds that I had found and I wanted to point you toward the videos in case you need to watch something for your Thanksgiving dinner. Don't forget to watch the uh, YouTube Thanksgiving dinner uh, list that's on the videos and they have the special icon and you'll recognize it. I had the corn casserole. Those are a lot of good recipes for Thanksgiving too. So if you visit those channels that participated, You'll find lots of good stuff to eat. The good Lord bless and keep y'all. I'll be back first of the week with a video showing you the fabric for the Christmas aprons. I've got some pretty stuff. I just ordered one that's uh, red with Santa Claus heads all over it. I don't know if that cloth will be in, but I will have a picture of it for the video. And then as soon as it gets here, be here in a day or two. I can start making aprons from that. I ordered enough to make eight aprons. So, y'all watch for the Christmas cloth because that's all I'm going to have is what's on there. And some of it I can't get anymore. So, get your name in for the one you want when I show the video. Okay, the good Lord bless and keep y'all. And I'll see you right back here at the Butcher Block cooking something good first part of next week.